Big day in the pre-runner build today. The back half is pretty much complete. We still gotta put mounting tabs and, and tie down points on it, but for all intents and purposes, it's time to get this rear back half made it up to the rest of the truck. All of the tube work down here and up here is done. All of the tube work notching up here is done. We're gonna be tying the C-pillar into the frame right here today and then burning in the back half. So hopefully by the end of this video, this thing will be able to roll on its own weight for the first time. It's been a lot of work, a lot of planning, a lot of prep, a lot of trial and error. We're actually starting to work smarter, not harder. We have a forklift, we might as well use it. So this is the back half of the pre-runner assembly. Here's where everything is going to connect. So the two lower legs are gonna come down here and here on either side. And then tubes come in through here to tie into the shoulder bar and the C-pillar. C-pillar is gonna tie in down there on the frame and then we're gonna have a bunch more tubing up here to tie it in. So obviously these are extended. This is gonna get sleeved and you'll never even know there was a slug there. Same thing up top, everything's gonna be sleeved and slugged cleanly. These were too short, so for some reason they came cut all the way back to here, which made it challenging. We had to extend them to get into the cab to mate to the C-pillar. The old adage of measure twice, cut once really applies here. We wanted to make sure that every piece lines up perfectly. We want the fit up to be meticulous. We want each of the tube notches to be fitting perfectly because this is essentially the back half of the truck and it needs to be absolutely bomber. So this back half has come off and gone back on numerous times and it's quite a production each time. Uh, here we are cutting off the rear body mounts. We thought we might be able to use them to tie the C-pillar in, but uh, ultimately they ended up just in the way. So um, we tag teamed this and cut them off and ground them all flush so we could get a nice little uh, footer from the C-pillar out to the frame. So this is a template that we downloaded. There's a website. Um, if you input something like welding tube calculator. Or tube notcher calculator. Tube notcher calculator. Th this will come up and you can put in the parameters. Two inch tube, uh, 26 degree, 120 wall, and you're off and running. And we're doing two inch to two inch on here. So we should be good to go. This is the template. John's traced the line. The rest is just Fun with the bandsaw. No. I mean, no, sorry. Fun with the grinder. Cutoff wheel of death. I'll see you later, buddy.
So the back half is coming together. I'm gonna to show you guys what we've got in and what we're working on still. Now, I may have jumped the gun. I was really hoping to have this thing all seamed in and uh, looking pretty outside in the sun, but I gotta be patient. We're not gonna burn anything in until it is 100% ready to go. We're not even tacking at this point. So like this tube is not tacked in, but this is what we built yesterday. Uh, it's running directly up off the rear and it's going to give us a really nice tie-in to the cage up there. We've also got a couple other tubes that we've just notched for here to here to support the shock some more. We finished up the mount for the C-pillar down here. The big thing is, is we're basically connecting the front and the rear of the truck. So. Obviously the trailing arms mount to the front of the truck. The shocks are gonna be mounted to the rear of the truck. There's gonna be a lot of leverage running up here from these shocks. And we wanna make sure that this junction between the two halves of the truck is just absolutely unquestionably bomber. And so that's, that's what we've been working on. Jeez, falling all over everything. But the name of the game right now is symmetry and tolerance. We wanna to get everything as symmetrical as we can, get the notches and all the fit ups as tight and perfect as we can so there's no fill welding. Uh, this is a lot of work. And then to replicate it on the other side, it is another part of the art form. Uh, you can make templates, you can, you can trace templates off of your original cut, but yeah. Nothing happens quickly. This thing's taking its sweet time, but I am really stoked as to how it looks. Starting to play with some masking tape to figure out our, our remaining, or some of our remaining tube work. 
I am really, really digging these kickers and the C-pillar kickers right there. The way it looks from the rear is just awesome. Double triangulation up there and over on this corner. And then not sure what we're gonna do up front. We're running a couple different scenarios right now, but these tubes came in awesome. This is collecting all the force coming off the shocks up to the shock mounts. But dude, it's, it's rad to start seeing it come together. Start seeing the, the vision and ideas that are being bounced around in our head for a while. You stoked? Yeah, things coming together good. Yeah. Do you think that blue tape's gonna hold? Oh yeah. Totally. It is 3M, so. O only the best, strongest tape for our pre-runner builds. The pre-runner build is starting to come together, but we still have quite a ways to go. If you want to see a finished truck, the first time I took the Blazer after I linked it out to King of the Hammers, I'm going to link that up here. Go take a look at that one and see the Blazer in action. We'll see you next week. Make sure to subscribe. Merrick's Garage.